Carl Abraham to return to MotoGP with the Aspar Ducati team in 2017. Carl Abraham will make his return to the MotoGP World Championship after it was announced today that the Czech rider will partner Alvaro Bautista at Pull&Bear Aspar Ducati for the 2017 season. Now in my opinion, this is a stupid decision by Pull&Bear Aspar. Carl Abraham, the rider who crashed out of most of his MotoGP seasons between 2011 and 2015, like he only achieved uh, 200 points was it maybe? 150 in and around there points total between 2011 and 2015 and he retired in most of those races. His full season, best full season was 2011 when he achieved A place in Valencia. Now I'm not saying Carl's a bad rider but you know his father and money I think has brought him into this position at Asper Ducati. Like Carl was a promising rider and his first place in Valencia in 2010 on the Moto2 class, in the Moto2 class, proved what kind of rider he is. But he's just never lived up to that potential that he's shown in Moto2 and in the 250cc classes. Like, Abraham can, when he wants to be on his day, like, in 2011 on MotoGP, like, he was 7th in Silverstone, 7th in Jerez, like, he was, he's well able to get in the results, but crashing was really Abraham's problem. He could never really stay on the bike. But in, in, but Aspar, I kind of put blame on Aspar too, because they're really doing this for the money. Like, there's no other reason why they take Carl Abraham, because there's plenty of other good young riders they could take on from Moto2, from the World Superbike Championship. They could have even kept Eugene Laverty, but Eugene Laverty was not staying because they could not finalise a GP16 for the Irish rider, which I felt was a shame because he, let's be honest, he's having his best season yet of his career. Like, he struggled last year on the Honda, the customer Honda, like most of the customer Hondas did. But I feel that Aspar could have kept a better rider. They could have even kept on, even though Yanni Hernandez is underperforming, he is a much better rider than Carl Abram and he's achieved way better results than Carl Abram has ever. Like, Carl Abram was in World Superbikes this year on the Milwaukee Yamaha and um, he only achieved 33 points. His best result was 9th place at Donington. Like, it's not good news, really, I think. And I just feel he's going to be... Now, he could have a good season. He could really have a good season. But I just feel he's going to be lingering down the field. Plus, he's on a GP15 as well, which is not the greatest of bikes, as you can see from Scott Redden and Danilo Petrucci this year, who have had good results, but it's not the bike hasn't lived up to the full potential it has as, it, as it's living in the shadow of the GP 14.2 with Laverty and Hector Barbera, who is at Avintia, are showing the true potential of. But... Now, Abraham could prove wrong. He's a solid enough rider to prove wrong. And maybe he can get his injury woes out of the way and show everyone why he deserves to be in MotoGP. But I just feel, I just feel he can't. In an interview with MotoGP.com, Abraham said he's pleased to be back. Um, he started working on this goal as soon as he knew there was a possibility that he could be coming back. He's, he said the Ducat is his favourite bike. And um, he's an honour to be part, it's an honour to be part of the Pull and Bear Aspar Ducati team. So where to for Yanni Hernandez? That's really the next question. Where is Yanni Hernandez going to go? There's talks of Yanni going to Moto2. There's talks of Yanni going to a British Superbike. But it hasn't really been finalised. Like Yanni Hernandez is a good rider. But he kind of has the same problem as Carl where he crashes way too much than he should really but he has achieved way more better results in MotoGP than Abraham has uh, now the gameplay in the background is Carl Abraham racing at Phillip Island MotoGP 2015 on the PlayStation 4 um, yeah so 
good or bad news leave your suggestions down below if you think this is good news personally like i've said a few minutes ago i don't think it's good news from otgp because i think he's just going to be another dead rider at the bottom of the field like achieve maybe one or two points if there's a lot of crashes which is not really good for pull and bear aspar because they'll have alvaro bautista on the gp17 or the gp16 and i just can't see alvaro doing as good either like it was a real shame they got rid of laverty because laverty was pull and bear's best rider and ducati's second best rider this year behind hector barrera who's had plenty of experience on that bike but you know carl abraham might surprise everyone and i hope he does but um this has been whole shot 54 news and i'm out